the City of Long Beach held its 2020 State of the City at the Long Beach Performing Arts Center. To kick off the night, residents and guests enjoyed various activities and informational booths before Mayor Robert Garcia hit the stage. It was showtime as soon as everyone took their seats. The mayor walked on stage and addressed the current status and future plans of our city. The presentation began with an overview of improvements across Long Beach. Streets and sidewalks are being fixed at a record pace. Our downtown skyline is being transformed with billions in new investment. We are building over 4,000 new homes across Long Beach. Tourism brings in $1.8 billion each year, in large part, million dollars each year, in large part thanks to our Convention and Visitors Bureau. Absolutely. And the unemployment rate has dropped to its lowest average ever. So we as a community are booming. The city also saw many changes that were made possible with the assistance of Measure A. Since 2016, we've invested $110 million in our city's infrastructure, and we're just getting started. It's always nice to see or uh, hear how the city's growing, um, the investments, especially around Measure A, they're being made. I love what we're seeing around, you know, new roads, new bike lanes, all exciting things. Um, makes me even more excited to be a Long Beach resident. The single largest challenge that the city faces is homelessness. Long Beach is taking big strides in creating sustainable solutions. Now we are making substantial progress in our efforts to house people who need shelter. Our city's first year-round city shelter opens this summer. We are building a navigation center to assist people with a place to store belongings and get services. Next month, we are finally opening our first safe parking program to provide a safe place for people who are living in their cars to have a safe place. Uh, my concern, my big concern was the homeless, so you addressed that fact. It brought a new light to Long Beach for me, so I'll be here for a while. The preservation of the Queen Mary has been a recent topic. Solutions to this piece of history are underway. Moving forward, the Queen Mary, first and foremost, must be treated as a significant historical location and worthy of public investment. I am excited that Urban Commons has committed to three new important initiatives. Number one, they will be releasing an economic impact study with Beacon Economics on the impact of the Queen Mary to Long Beach and the region in the next 60 days. Number two, they will be developing a historic preservation blueprint. And number three, by this fall, they will present their new ideas and revised plans to the city and the public on the development surrounding the Queen Mary, all 40 acres. My friends, the Queen Mary is part of this city and she isn't going anywhere. To watch the entire 2020 State of the City, visit longbeach.gov.